know, I got interested in cooking um, from being with my mom. My mom was always loving cooking and she came over from the Caribbean. So it was a big thing, you know, family times to have Caribbean food. And it was difficult to get Caribbean food. So we'd be always hunting for food like yams and sweet potatoes and things, which was very rare in England at the time, and mangoes and so on, all these unusual things. So I got interested in food from my parents and they developed having a Caribbean takeaway. They were the first people ever in Britain to have the first Caribbean takeaway. The interest went on as I got older. Um, I went into show business and doing going around the club singing. So when I went around the club singing, my dad turned around to me and said, well, you know, you need to have a proper career. And the proper career was going, sending me to catering college in the Birmingham, College of Food in Birmingham, where I became a master baker. Yes, I'm surrounded by food. I love it. <laughs> and I'm eating healthier these days and losing quite a lot of weight. So, yeah, I, food is... I'm always on about food, always involved in doing food. And one of my favorite things of doing is cake decorating. I love that because it gives me a chance to, you know, to relax and it's very therapeutic. So I love all that. What's the best cooking advice? <laughs> Don't stick your finger in a hot pot of water. <laughs> now, now be sensible now. Hold on. The best advice I could give to a young person interested in becoming a chef is to train properly. Hygiene is very important because I've seen chefs with some dirty habits such as licking their fingers and not washing their hands and things like this. To do that and, you know, be prepared for long hours. It can be glamorous. If you love cooking, it is glamorous in that way but it's hard work and be prepared to put hard work in. That's my best thing and enjoy it, enjoy it. So I do a lot of uh, trips to the Caribbean and I always, always go and have a look around the markets and see what they've got in the different parts of the countries. So it's, it's, always, it's, it's always there. There's always something interesting to look at. There's always an interesting fish to look at. For instance, um, going to Jamaica and seeing a parrot fish. I mean, you, <laughs> and the, the parrot fish has got a, a beak and the colors of it. So, you know, there's all those interesting things to see because people know me for Caribbean food. My inspiration is looking at um, something different and making it my own, you know, creating something new. So that's what I do, but with fun. I make food fun all the time. So if I'm on TV doing a cookery spot, for instance, I try to make it interesting because I don't like to be boring. I like to be interesting, put people in so they can enjoy it as well because food should be fun.